Hello, I'm Stephen Berry, and welcome to Soft Vision, where today we're looking at Lotus 123, the new release version 5, and I'm joined by Carl from Lotus. Hello. Welcome. Let's start by looking at uh, your role at Lotus, the sort of things you do. Right, I'm actually a systems engineer at Lotus Development, which basically involves me going around corporate accounts mm -hmm. and uh, the larger accounts as well, where I actually show them things like 123, freelance notes, and we recommend solutions to help their sort of needs that they have within their company. So very often it may be 123 by itself, or maybe mm -hmm. it will be something like 123 with Lotus Notes mm. or one of the other products. And sometimes it can even be 123 with other people's products. 123 is one of those products that is pretty much synonymous with the PC industry, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's one of those products that was the first one available, really, for the, the IBM PC. Mm -hmm. And our huge success has gone on from then, really. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's had its 10th anniversary recently, and it's been a very successful product for us. So we're looking at release 5 today. Yeah. Is it very different? There's some huge differences from 123 Release 5 and 123 1A or whatever mm -hmm. back in uh, yeah, you remember, 1980 you remember back that something. Well, I don't know, I was, I was born just before then, but, um, <laughs> but we do have some huge differences in the product. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, obviously it runs under Windows now, which at that time wasn't even thought up, mm -hmm. but it, it does have some big differences. And there's some, some, some of them are big changes, some of them are small changes between Release 5 and Release mm -hmm. 4 as well for okay. Windows. I'd like to just spend a few moments talking about the type of things we'll cover in this video. Right. Well, we're going to cover obviously 123. We're going to do things like mapping, mm -hmm. and also we're going to do uh, the charting engine within 123. Just quickly, I mean, this mapping is a new technology, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a new technology that allows you to sort of like take regions like United mm -hmm. Kingdom, Germany, Spain, France. Yep. And if you've got numbers that relate to those regions, 123 mm -hmm. will, will map the figures onto an actual geographical map right. for you. So statistics so you on an area, it. is it? Exactly, yep. yeah. And uh, it also includes some information such as the population for each area. So mm -hmm. you can actually work out things like, you know, how much profit you make per head right. in the country sort of thing. So there's some quite useful mm. things in there. Okay, and just to, to take it back to grassroots level, also people that are new to spreadsheets, you will give them a grounding in yep. the concepts? Well, this is part one, which is obviously for the beginner's introduction to mm. 123. We do have a part two as well. You mean we're going to have you for six hours? I know, it's going to be <laughs> it's tough worry, work, isn't it? but uh, definitely don't watch both at the same time. <laughs> okay, so we've got six hours to get through, three yep. hours today, so I think we should make a start. Uh, one thing I would say, and you've heard me say this a million times already, but it's not a feature film, so don't try and watch it all from start to finish. You'll find it's a lot easier just to focus on one chapter at a time. Yeah. Good advice, isn't it? It is. All right, let's make a start now.